We're just underway in the top of the first inning. Oderber has worked a full count. Rest the bat on his right shoulder. Katz gives the sign again. He'll set up in. The 3-2 pitch. Lifted in the air towards right. Pretty deep. David Rome back looking up at the wall. And this ball is gone. Randolph Odeber with an opposite field homer just inside the right field foul pole. And the Lincoln Salt Dogs jump out to a 1-0 lead. The Gold Eyes actually claimed to parry off waivers last June. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Pluffner swings, pops it up foul to the left side. Jacobs and Ibarra with a look. Ibarra reaching over, and Ibarra comes up with the catch, and there's two outs here in the second, where the base is loaded and one down in the last of the third inning. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Breaking ball pulled towards first, and it's bobbled by Smith and rolls behind him. The flip to first just in time to get Romanski. Darvel scores the goal, the tying run, and it's now 1-1 one -one in the bottom half of the third. The Salt Dogs recovered, got the out at first, but the tying run came across. Swing and a miss to the slider. will get away from Katz. Smith heading for first, the throw, and it's in time to get Kurt Smith. How about that laser from Mason Katz? The 2-2. Line drive center field, it's down for a base hit. Adams scores the go-ahead run. Great at bat there by Brent Dean. Kent Battling was behind 0-2, and, and he dumps a single into center field to drive in the go-ahead run. So Brent Dean comes up with his third RBI of the year, a line drive single to center. And the Salt Dogs cash in the leadoff triple from Trevor Adams. 2-1 to one Lincoln in the top of the fifth inning. Alumnus of Louisiana State. He was known by Mason Katz, the Gold Eyes catcher, played four years at LSU. Payoff pitch is in there for a cold strike three. Seventh strikeout for Kevin McGovern. He paints the inside corner with a 91-mile-an-hour sinker. So two outs and nobody on base. Five appearances. He's 0-1. Four innings, three earned runs on six hits, four walks, two strikeouts. Opponents hitting 375. He works out of a windup. Abercrombie 0 for 2, swings, lines it down the right field line, that'll drop in fair for a base, and it bounces towards the Lincoln bullpen. Abercrombie around first, he's on his way to second. The ball bounces towards the bullpen bench. Reggie's going to try for three. The relay by Marine is not in time, and Abercrombie slides in safe for the triple. And Zach Person this season, he's only seen two left-handed batters, interestingly enough. The 1-0 pitch, Plefter hits it in the air to center. Should be deep enough. Randolph Odeber is under it. Odeber makes the catch. Reggie Tags coming to the plate. Odeber's throw way off the mark. Abercrombie scores, and it's 2-2 two two in the bottom half of the sixth. Bobby Madrich, who threw a complete game shutout in a 6-0 win at Haymarket Park, game five in 2002. This will be the ninth pitch of the at-bat. The runners go 3-2. High ball for the Gold Eyes take the lead. David Rome draws a two-out, bases loaded walk to force on the go-ahead run. And it's 3-2 to two Winnipeg in the bottom half of the sixth. Team RBI of the year, now time for the league lead. So 3-2 to two Winnipeg, bottom of the sixth. Base is full and two outs. Person's pitch, ground ball towards the middle. Person backhands it high, sets those low to first, and it gets away from Smith. Cut scores. Here comes Greiner, and it's 5-2 to two Winnipeg in the bottom of the sixth inning. It'll be a throwing error on the pitcher, Zach Person. He had the comebacker and tried to make the long throw from just in front of the pitcher's mound. He bounced it, and Smith couldn't dig it out. Way from Bark in the park should be a great event, and Gold Eye has a realistic chance to break that Guinness World Record. 3-2 to Dean. Swing and a miss. He got him. Chased a fastball off the outside part of the plate. Eight strikeouts for Kevin McGovern. And it's two outs and nobody on with Yvonne Marine stepping up. Will host the Texas Airhawks at the depot at Cleburne Station at 6.05 this evening. And then also at 6.05, Sioux City takes on the Gary South Shore Railcats at Lewis and Clark Park. Railcats bounced back last night after their crushing loss Friday. 2 2 on the way. Swing and a miss. He got him in a slider. On the ninth pitch of the at bat, Victor Capian strikes out Randolph Odeberg. Season the year before with the Traverse City Beach Bums in the Frontier League. Righty against righty, one out of nobody on here in the top of the eighth. Another one, two. Check to swing the appeal at first, and he went around for strike three. Taylor Payne rings up Brandon Jacobs in a check swing. Jacobs unhappy with a call, and Victor Capian picks up his second strikeout. Ibarra, an infield single, a walk. And a pop out to second, officially one for two. Chafee's 1-1, one, one, hit in the air to right field, pretty deep. Rome back towards the warning track, reaching out, and Rome makes the catch as he bangs into the wall. David Rome juggles the ball inside of his glove, reaching out to his left, tap the fence, 
And hangs on for a spectacular catch here in the ninth. So the Salt Dogs are down to their final strike. Champion a couple of very quick outs. Five runs, five hits, two errors for the Gold Eyes, two runs, four hits, and one error for the Salt Dogs. Chafee winds. The Oats to Mendoza pulled to the ground on the right side. Cassio Grider moves in front, goes to first in time, and the ball game is over. Ryan Chafee has a 1 2 3 top of the ninth inning, and the Winnipeg Gold Eyes take the rubber match of the three game series for the Lincoln Salt Dogs by a final score of 5 to 2.